All right, everybody, for this monthly movement minute, we're going to cover the rope climb. For most adults, there are two basic methods of climbing a rope, the Spanish wrap and the bite. The bite is faster, but many people feel safer with the Spanish wrap. As always, do the one that makes the most sense in your head. Safety first, grip strength. If you can't hold yourself to the rope, you can't climb the rope. If you feel like your grip is going to fatigue very quickly, don't climb that high. Get the technique down before you try and shoot to the top of the rope. All right. With the Spanish wrap, start with the rope between your legs and completely wrap it around your dominant leg. Then step on the rope with your free leg as it drapes over your foot. As you climb up, you have to shake your leg to get the rope to pass down. If you don't do this, you can't take a bite higher up. You'll just drag up the slack and end up with your feet in the exact same position as they were before. There's a lot of friction points on the Spanish wrap. Be ready for that on the way down. The Spanish wrap is biting on your inner thigh, your shin, and on your foot. For that reason, I don't recommend shorts when you're doing the Spanish wrap. I have most of my athletes use the bite method. You can move faster, which allows you to spend less time on grip strength. Many people feel more secure with the Spanish wrap, but if done correctly, the feet position on the bite will hold you without using your hands. Start with the rope inside your knee and outside your foot on your dominant leg. You're going to either jump or reach as high as you can and then pull your knees as high as you can while letting the rope slide along your shin. That way you keep control of it. Your free foot will then scoop up the rope, forming a stirrup for you to stand in. If you do not feel like you can stand because the rope is sliding between your feet, you can create more friction by bringing your second foot all the way around and on top of your dominant foot to create more bend in the rope, which will create more friction points. Just like the Spanish wrap, do not come too high off the ground until you have enough confidence in your grip strength to give yourself the time to position your feet. Overgripping is something that we always battle, especially on our early rope climbs. The harder you grip the rope, the faster you're going to wear out. Try to find the perfect tension to keep yourself from falling, but save strength for later rope climbs. When it comes to gear, the two things you need to worry about are your shoes and your shins. Coming down the rope causes the most wear and tear on both your gear and your body. Even these boots are showing signs of wear after several hundred rope climbs. Many people do nothing more than slide their knee sleeve down over their shins. Knee sleeves are soft and they won't last very long, but they can get you through several workouts. Soccer shin guards work very well either over your clothes or even taking a smaller youth version and tucking it in your sock. This will protect the parts of your shin that are going to bite on the rope. Remember, ropes are dirty. The feet and shoes that were just outside running in the dirt are also on this rope. If you get a rope burn, especially a bloody rope burn, clean it right away and keep it clean. All right, guys. Rope climbs are amazing. They're one of the best ways to develop grip, shoulder, bicep strength. You use everything in your body. Your abs are crunching up your legs and your feet are using that rope to stand up. They're amazing. So let's get after it and get some rope climbs.